In this lecture, we're going to look at the arm. So we're going to start off by looking at the arm in cross-section and returning to the brachial fascia we spoke about. We'll also look at how it forms the intermuscular septa. We'll then look at the anterior compartment, the biceps brachii, brachialis, and coracobrachialis muscles, and some neurovascular relations in the anterior compartment. We'll then look at the cubital fossa that lies directly anterior to the elbow joint, its boundaries and the contents. And then we'll finish by looking at the posterior compartment, specifically triceps brachii and again some neurovascular relations. So if we look at the compartments of the arm to start with, then this is a section through the arm and we can see that we've got the humerus here and then lying anteriorly we've got this surface here where we've got the subcutaneous tissue and the superficial fascia and then we've got this line here that's running around the muscles and that is the brachial fascia so we're going to look at that in a bit more detail when looking at cross sections it's important to realize as this diagram here indicates that we're actually looking at it from below so here we're looking at it from below. So this is the medial aspect here. This is the lateral aspect. This is the posterior aspect. And this is the anterior aspect. So the transverse section of the arm reveals the brachial fascia forms two muscular compartments. It does this by way of the lateral intermuscular septum and the medial intermuscular septum. So what we can see here is the humerus. And then on the outside, we've got the brachial fascia. We can see the brachial fascia dives deep here laterally into the depths of the arm and attaches to the humerus. We can also see similar here where we have the brachial fascia running around the outside. And then we've got this medial intermuscular septum running in here. And that creates two compartments contains the anterior compartment and it contains the posterior compartment. The anterior compartment is the flexor compartment. The posterior compartment is the extensor compartment. So they flex the elbow joint and they extend the elbow joint muscles in these compartments. Importantly, though, it's important to remember that some of these muscles also act on the glenohumeral joint, as we'll see. So the majority of the muscles in the arm do act on the elbow joint. And principally, there are two types of movement. We have flexion and extension. We also have pronation and supination. So the muscles within the arm act on the elbow joint, and they also act on the radio ulnar joints, which allow pronation and supination to occur. So we'll come back to these as we progress through the course.